Hey guys, Blake the Webhead here and welcome to Destiny 1 to 20 for dummies. Now I'm going to start off the video by showing you the new character that I made. It's modeled after one of my favorite DC supervillains, Harley Quinn. I couldn't get a face white, but it's as pale as it's going to get. Now guys, this video is going to be my methods, a few of my methods on how to reach level 20 the fastest way that I know how. These are going to be tips and tricks on how to get to 20. Now in the beginning this is a scene from the very first mission of the game. Now you cannot skip this mission at all. You have to complete this mission in order to continue the game. Now the trick to this mission that not a lot of people know about is the fact that you don't have to actually complete the mission and I'm going to show you what I mean basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to time-lapse this sequence of video and I'm going to basically show you that I can skip all of the mobs in this level up until the very last room where I have to kill I believe about six guys in order to get in my ship but the reason for this is in this level no matter what you do you're still gonna hit level two so there's no need for you to waste time killing Guardian. killing Guardian. fallen Guardian. to get to the next level because you Guardian. automatically hit level two at the end you're no alive. matter what so this time last you video is going to show you guys exactly you. that you all right time to haul ass Construct Productions, hey! Okay guys, as you can see, I didn't even finish the whole level and I had already hit level 2, so that proves that that method works. Now here in the tower, I'm going to show you several ways to hit 20 as fast as possible. Now the first method that I want to talk about is the story missions. The story missions are different missions scattered about each planet earth mars the moon and venus in now if you're into the story if you're into the lore or at least the lore that bungie has provided it's not the best but it's something if you're into that then by all means do that but do it smart what I mean is, what you want to do is get the maximum amount of experience you can from doing the story mode. Now, one thing that you must remember is doing the story mode on the hardest difficulty is going to get you the most experience and I'm going to show you now. Here you set your destination and you go to Earth which is the first available planet for story mode missions and the first mission here is restoration. And you see here it says 1800 
experience bonus is what you get from doing this mission now this is the XP on top of the experience you get from killing enemies on the mission what you want to do is either find two friends that are either on your level or a little bit above your level and all three of you go through the story missions on the hardest difficulty what you want to do is go down to here and set it to hard which says level three hard and it gives you 2200 XP plus the XP you get from killing enemies this is the best way to get the maximum amount of XP during the story mode the other method is either get a friend that is significantly higher in level than you are and just have that person run you through the entire story mission part of the game on the highest difficulty that the story mode brings you if you finish the entire story it brings you up to I believe level 18 so that brings you to the next method on leveling faster okay the second method that I want to talk about is the crucible set the destination and the crucible is to your right click X and the available crucible matches that are here starting at level 2 is control control uh, with the dark below expansion and double double skirmish and that is what's available right now now what you want to do is if you're into PvP and that's your spiel definitely do that but remember there is one crucial thing that you have to know if you plan on doing PvP binges it is bounties 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 you go to the bounty tracker here in the tower and since we're talking about crucible you want to pick up these bounties for crucible you are able to I believe carry five bounties at a time so you want to pick the the most simple bounties that you can find that you think you can do and basically carry those out while you're in the crucible for example one of the bounties is to defeat 25 hunters in the crucible all you have to do is kill 25 hunters that's it that's pretty simple and what you do is just pick the the most simple bounties that you can pick or you just pick them all and just try to do them while you're doing crucible it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone now on the same subject as bounties brings you to my third and final method the third method is doing patrol missions and adding bounties to that to get double experience and what I mean is when you go into orbit which I'm going to show you now go to the destination and to earth and you are able to once you finish this first mission you are able to do patrol missions it's going to be right here it's going to light up green it's going to pulsate and what you do is you go to earth you do those um those patrol missions and the patrol missions are collected from green pulsating lights that you find on the ground all around on the map on earth and on any other planet and what you want to do is while you're doing those patrol missions you get bounties as well I'm going to show you the bounties that you can get and they can coincide with the patrol missions and you can get double experience you can get experience from doing patrol missions and you can get experience from doing the bounties as well also another good thing about doing patrol missions is you're getting experience for the vanguard faction now the tower here is something I have mentioned is your one-stop shop for anything that you need to progress in the game now the vanguard reputation that you get from doing patrol missions gives you things such as new weapons and new gear you go to your respected your respective you class trainer which is the titan vanguard for me and it shows you some really cool legendary gear that you can get at level 20 now if you do patrol missions and 
strike missions which also give you vanguard reputation all the way up until you reach level 20 you should definitely have at least rank one and a half or two which is the requirement in order to get this gear and this gear is equivalent to vault of glass gear which is the first raid that was released with the game so this gear is pretty much top of the line and good enough for you to do Crota's end so definitely look into getting gear from your vanguard class trainer for when you hit level 20 it's the same thing with crucible Yes. If you get enough, if you do enough crucible and get enough crucible reputation, you can get awesome gear and weapons that is very, very helpful for you when you hit level 20. And the crucible vendors are also here in a tower right in the middle, and you can see all this super hot, sexy gear. Now, while you are doing those patrol missions to get reputation for your vanguard. Don't forget, like I said before, bounties, bounties, bounties. Make sure you pick up bounties for the patrol mission planet that you're doing. And like I said before, you get the simple ones that are easy to complete. Complete six patrol missions in the Cosmodrome. Now, like I said, patrol missions are easy to pick up. That's a bounty right there. You do six of them and you get 2,500 experience and you get spin metal, which is crucial to upgrading your armor and guns and you get vanguard reputation it's very very imperative that you guys get these bounties and do them while you're doing your crucible oh i'm sorry not crucible while you're doing your patrol missions also there is a rumored glitch in the game to get double experience from bounties which is the bounties reset at 4 a.m. every morning the thing that you have to do is make sure that you're online before 4 then you pick up bounties you complete them and then you come back to the vendor turn the bounties in and then you go here into your options menu click over log out go to change character and sign on to the same exact character and you'll go back to the bounty tracker and he'll have the same bounties that you just did so you can do them again and get the same amount of experience which is double and that is a pretty pretty awesome way to get some double experience to add with the bounties in the patrol missions now this concludes my tips and tricks on how to reach level 20 in destiny I hope this video has been helpful to all of you I appreciate you watching do not forget to subscribe, visit all the other videos on my YouTube channel, and I do stream from time to time, so definitely come by, hang out with me, and yes, the Twitch channel, the Twitch channel is web underscore head underscore gaming 29, so definitely come by and say hi sometime, and thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll catch you next time.